and welcome back to my New England story. Well, that nor'easter did get us. Uh, we got roughly 11 to 12 inches of snow, and I will say, though, it is already melting. But needless to say, it's been a bit messy out here the past couple of days, and today I have decided to stay inside. I'm sitting by the wood stove here with a nice fire going, so we're nice and cozy. But today I thought I would do something a little different. And I thought since I've been on here a couple of years, I really haven't done a video talking about myself per se uh, since my intro, so almost two years ago. And I wanted to do kind of a fun video today, which is getting to know me a little better. I thought I would come up with 10 things that you don't know about me. So let's go ahead and get started. So I decided to just make up a little list of roughly 10 things, uh, little fun facts if you want about me. And I was hoping that some of you would uh, participate in the comments below and maybe tell us a little something about yourself, a fun fact. So let me just get started. These are in no particular order. I just started jotting things down. So let me start with, uh, first of all, I love to dance. Now, I'm not saying I'm good at it, but I love to dance. I always have. And I have known how to do the polka and the waltz since I was probably about seven years old. My father was um, on both sides. His mom and dad were from Czechoslovakia. And my father and then my stepmother, they love to go to polka parties. So my aunt taught me how to dance when I was about seven. And then I had plenty of polka parties to go to throughout my life, whether I wanted to or not. So I had plenty of practice. And so, yes, I can do the polka and the waltz. And uh, for Fran in Michigan, just so you know, because I know you are Czech also, I can actually do the double step. So anyway, uh, that's one thing. And along with the dancing, uh, my youngest daughter was a dancer. She was in dance from age five on up through high school, through her senior year. And her senior year, they did uh, the Nutcracker, of course, as they did every year. And they had asked for parent volunteers to participate in the dance itself. So I decided to go ahead and do it. It was my last child, her last performance, uh, her last performance of the Nutcracker. So I thought it would be kind of fun to participate. And that is exactly what I did. Now, Mark did not want to <laughs> do it with me. So I had called up my cousin. Uh, he lived in the same town that I did and he's a little younger than I am, but he's like my brother. Legally, we're cousins, but really he's like my brother. And so I asked him, I said, would you be my husband? And so he was like, sure. So. We did. The two of us got to spend a lot of time together. We had a lot of fun. And even more importantly, we got to participate in Emily's last Nutcracker. We were even in the same scene as she was at the beginning. So that was fun and um, a great memory for me. So that's it for my dancing. Back to the Czech music. Uh, I can sing several Czech songs. 100% in Czech. I have no idea what I'm saying, but I can sing the words. So there's number two. <laughs> um, I cannot say the word. I'm going to put it on the screen here. I cannot say that word for the life of me. I pronounce it as vodka. Uh, my children make fun of me all the time. If I really slow down, I can say it, but when I'm saying it, it's vodka. So there's another fun fact. 
Starting in fifth grade, I decided to become a member of the band and I played the clarinet. I played the clarinet fifth through, well, 12th grade through high school. I wished I'd taken up saxophone, but I didn't. I played the clarinet and uh, my dad loved it because I learned how to read music. He'd never learned how to read music. He taught himself to play the button accordion um, by ear. And so when I learned how to read music, he got a song book for me and he and I played several Czech songs together. <laughs> um, me just by reading the music, I didn't know the songs. And he recorded it back in the day on a tape recorder and he sent it to our relatives in Czechoslovakia. So there you go. I made it on that. And then in the high school band, we also made an album. So I guess I'm almost a professional clarinet player. Not really. <laughs> um, but my favorite part about band is in high school, I was a majorette. I loved marching band. I loved whether it was playing the instrument. Um, I even loved uh, being the majorette even more. So that was definitely a highlight for me. I loved twirling and uh, my good friends were also majorettes. So that helped out. So there you go. That's it for my uh, band years. Now, here's a fun fact. When I was, it would have been high school, I, um, I drove a truck through our house. Now, let me explain. I had come home from school. My dad, who was a part-time farmer, had been working out in the field all day, and it was starting to rain. And I had gone out there to see if there was anything I could do to help, and he said yes. He had a pickup truck, and in the back, he had filled up with the soybeans that they had combined that day. And he said, uh, get the beans home and get the truck in the garage because he didn't want them to get wet. So I hopped in the truck. I drove home. We had a, um, an attached garage at the house. And I'm pulling into the garage. And as I'm pumping those brakes, they weren't working. So I, it, it's a miracle that the accident wasn't worse than it was. So I quickly jammed the truck into park and that extra oomph, I went through our house. Not through it, into the house. Um, you can only imagine my thoughts, my fear, my heart was beating through my chest for so many reasons. It was, I was scared to death to tell my dad. He was uh, coming home. He had the tractor and another wagon filled with soybeans and he was getting them pulled into the barn and I was scared to death to tell him. I will say he'd had an awful day that day. Everything that could happen happened to him. This was merely the cherry on top of the cake. It was the one and only time in my life he yelled at me and he didn't even need to yell at me because I was just, I was a mess. It all worked out. He was able to repair. Thankfully, it was an attached garage. So, um, I don't know. It's a story to tell. It's a story he and I never forgot. So there you go. I drove a truck through the house. Um, regarding Mark and I, we did go to the same high school. We were not friends or anything in high school. Um, he was a year ahead of me. He was the quarterback. I was the majorette. We were on the same football field, just at different times. And, um, I don't know. I, we never ran in the same groups. I don't even know that. You know, I was a huge fan of his in high school. But several years after we had both graduated high school, life brought both of us back to that same town. And uh, we did go to the same church. We ended up going to the same college. So it was my junior year in college. We just, we would see each other on campus and started talking. And um, I wanted to go on record that he pursued me. 
<laughs> but uh, anyway, needless to say, you know, without going into a, a ton of details, we did end up dating and uh, obviously we married. I call it a God wink because, um, like I said, I, if someone had told me in high school that I was going to marry him, I would have told them they're nuts. Um, so anyway, it, uh, obviously it all worked out. So my very first car was a VW Beetle, a bug. We, I loved that car. It was a little red VW. And again, I came home from school one day and my dad said, I bought you a car. And I was so excited. Oh my goodness. I, I was so happy. I was, I don't even know that I was 16 yet. I was probably 15 and a half. One minor detail. This vehicle did not have an engine. Who needs an engine, right? Well, my dad, who could fix anything and everything, he got a good deal on this red VW bug, and he said, no worries, I will put an engine in it for you. And he did. And I loved that car. Uh, I wish I had it today. I really do. Maybe someday, um, maybe someday when I get rich, I'll own another VW. I would love to have a convertible. So anyway, I drove that car probably for about five years. And uh, so my first car had no engine. When I was looking through or thinking about different questions to ask yourself, one question came up of what is your favorite comfort show or show to binge watch? And I would have to say my favorite show to binge watch that I can watch over and over again is Gilmore Girls. And I think part of the reason is, yes, I love the show. I love the fact that it takes place in New England, but my daughters and I watched that together a lot. So it brings back those memories of my time with my daughters. But I will say watching Gilmore Girls, which takes place in Stars Hollow, Connecticut. Stars Hollow is, um, is not a real town. That is what kind of introduced me to New England and the quaintness of New England. And that show is what initiated my very first trip out here. My oldest daughter and I came out her senior year and we went to Connecticut and we went to Vermont. And when we went to Connecticut, we had researched back then. I mean, it, um, it took a little more time to research things, but we researched what towns in Connecticut was Stars Hollow based on. And we visited all of those. We had a great time and I love the show. So let me know, are there any more Gilmore friends out there? It's a fun show. Um, now this is number nine. I, when I was young, I was a huge Donny Osmond fan. Um, I just loved Donnie. I loved all of the Osmonds. Do you remember watching the Donnie and Marie show? I did. And when I was, I think, 19, my friend and I went and saw Donnie and Marie in concert. And uh, we went up to the stage at one point during the performance. I don't remember why. And he kissed my hand. And so that was quite the moment for me. Oh my goodness, Donny Osmond kissed my hand. So there's another little fun fact. I actually, in my world, met Donny Osmond. And then, of course, last but not least, uh, many of you probably do know already that I have three daughters. Um, and those girls are my world. They, it is the best job I have been given in my life is to be their mother. I, um, they're just my life. I, and I'm sure a lot of you mothers out there can relate. I can drive them nuts a lot. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I love them to death and they know it. So there's a few things about me. Maybe some you wanted to know, maybe not. I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. 
um, a, just a fun way to maybe get to know me and my personality a little more. And like I said at the beginning, I would love for you to participate. If you would just comment below this video and share a little something about yourself, uh, a little what I call a fun fact. Now, for those of you that stayed to the end, I did want to mention also I have gotten in some new things and I've added them to my online store. So if you're interested, uh, hop on over there. I will link that also below. I am still waiting for my replenishment of the Kiss Me in the Garden items and not only have I purchased more of what I sold out of almost immediately but I've also added some other scents so if you're interested uh, go ahead and take a look at what I have added to the store and just keep checking back I am adding more consignment items and um, it's been fun it's doing very well I've truly enjoyed it and thank you all for your support and that so anyway I hope everyone is having a good week. We're supposed to have 60 degrees on Monday. I think spring may come to New Hampshire. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I look forward to reading your comments below. Have a wonderful week, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.